Hello. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's Critical. I'm delivering a really high enthusiasm intro for this very special video. So, this year will be my 10th year on this shithole of a website called YouTube. And I wanted to do something very special, something very much out of my comfort zone. Which this is, because this is my first in real life video on this channel. I know this is some groundbreaking shit. No YouTuber has ever gone so far as to put their face on the shit they create. I'm really blasting open a new door into this golden age of YouTubing. So I'm happy to be the pioneer here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and address the shit in the background first, because I know I'm gonna get asked about it. This is my animal slipper collection. I fucking love animal slippers. I fucking love them. That's no joke. And I'm really uncomfortable if you can't tell, because I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with an in real life video. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my hands. I don't usually talk with my hands or anything, but I see a lot of other YouTubers do it, so don't worry. I'm gonna try and make everyone feel comfortable here and be really animated with my hands and shit. Whatever, I don't know what the fuck to do with them, but I'm gonna try. But what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to give a history of my channel because I thought that would be an interesting thing to talk about was the actual history of my channel step by step. I don't know if you could see, but I just spit everywhere. Hopefully the phone camera picked it up and if it didn't, I'm sorry. If it did, you're very welcome. So I guess the best place to start is in the beginning. My mother got pregnant and I came out of her pussy hole in 1994. I'll do the math for you. That makes me 22 years old. And 10 years after 1994 was 2004. I was 10. I hadn't started YouTubing yet. YouTube actually wasn't even around back then. But three years after that, that's when I started in 2007, May 7th of that year. So it was 2007, and I had just bought a new game for the Xbox 360 called Gears of War. And I fucking loved it. That game got me hard as a rock, gave me my first boners. First time I ever saw cum was when I got a really nice double kill in there. It was incredible. It wasn't my own cum, it was my dad. He just thought it was the coolest thing ever, too. But the thing I'm trying to say is I fucking loved the game, and I wanted to get better at it, so... I went on YouTube.com, which I had recently found out about because the previous year, the RuneScape Falador Massacre occurred. Rest in peace to everyone that lost their gear during that or knows someone that has. It's a very scary thing, and I'm sorry for your loss. But anyway, I found out about it through that, and I went on there because I wanted to get better at Gears of War, and where else would I go, you know? YouTube.com will show you how to get pussy on Gears of War, so I went there, and I saw a video called... Gears of War sniper montage, and it was by a guy named Niz Mojo. This, this video is no longer on YouTube, it's probably in the fucking Smithsonian by now that that shit was legendary. And that what I saw that day, I will never forget. There were headshots after headshots. It was better than porn. I'd never experienced such childlike wonder. And I wanted to do something like that too, record myself playing the game, even though I wasn't as good as this guy, I wanted to be as good as him. So that same day, I had my parents drive me out to Best Buy so I could get a little cheap camcorder, something handheld, so I could film myself playing the game and also film myself jerking off. But that was more of a passion project and something for myself, whereas filming me playing Gears of War was more to showcase my abilities or lack thereof on YouTube. So I set it up, really shitty stuff, you know, it was a little, little camcorder about the size of my little pocket trumpet here. You know, but sounded about the same too. And I just got to work, you know, started making montages on this channel here, Penguin Zero. Made it because I like penguins. I still like penguins. They're fucking adorable. I actually have a pair of penguin slippers right over there. But anyway, yeah, started making these montages, and I did that for about two years, something like that, somewhere in that ballpark. So after making montages and stuff for, you know, about a year or two, a new game called Battlefield Bad Company 2 came out. And I fucking love that too, almost as much as Gears of War. It didn't get me quite as hard though, but I came up with a different idea of, you know, maybe instead of just making montages, I could talk during it and teach people fun ways of playing the game. I already made a video where I talked before teaching people how to get an achievement in Alien vs. Predator, but that was like right after I broke my wrist and I was fucking delusional, so I don't really remember that video very well. That's a true story. And uh, so I thought it'd be fun to do this. And I did, and it was fun. 
and you know it got it got kind of it got got a few views a couple of them got like a thousand views and i was so proud of that i actually told my parents i was like you guys aren't gonna believe this a thousand people watch my video and they don't even think my penis is small they think i'm kind of cool they think i'm 20 something years old because my voice sounds like a fucking roided out swamp monster after waking up in the morning while he's still groggy i had a weird voice for that age and i still have a weird voice and i know that like I said, you know, the most accurate description of my voice is the world's most unenthusiastic hand job. So, you know, I was so proud of that, and I was so surprised that people actually liked me in any regard. So I figured, you know, let's, you know, let's post this somewhere. Let's do some advertising. So I went on the premier video game website, GameFAQs.com. Back in that day and age, Game FAQs was like the web MD of video games. Everyone went on there, and everyone was confused and scared. So I decided to post my shit there, and I was 100% sure everyone was going to hate it, it wasn't going to do very well. People definitely weren't going to like me, because that's just, you know, that's how I felt about myself. I had very low self-esteem, and, you know, I I'd already talked about this, so I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but for a long time I hated myself. And I just kind of expected nothing to come of it, but to my surprise, people actually liked it. The Fun Tactics series got kind of popular thanks to Game FAQs. Shoutouts to, you know, the four or five people still on that website, I really really it holds a special place in my heart and then you know my channel started to grow a little bit I started to branch out from just doing fun tactics to just doing you know videos for entertainment purposes because I fucking started to love it I absolutely loved it I would brainstorm video ideas while I was falling asleep I'd have dreams where I'm making videos but most of those videos just consisted of bouncy titties and stuff so it wasn't anything I could actually put on YouTube and I just really found this passion for creating shit and then in 2010, something incredible happened. A guy named Ray William Johnson put one of my videos, my Quap video, in his video where he just, you know, talks about viral videos, even though mine wasn't. For some reason, he slipped it in there. Might have been by accident. I don't know. Most of you probably don't even know who Ray William Johnson is. Some of you were probably born after he was already off YouTube. But he used to be the biggest channel on this cesspool of a website. And when that happened, man, that, that was like winning the lottery for me. I can still remember that day vividly. I don't think I have smiled that hard or been that giddy since. It's just, it was such an incredible feeling. I, it's hard to put it into words. And then in 2012, I completely lost the passion for making videos. From about 2012 to the beginning of 2014, probably. I just hated making videos. It was just a chore for me, a hassle. I didn't like it anymore. That's when I really hit the darkest point in my life, not just, you know, making videos, but everything. My obsessive compulsive disorder was just spiraling out of control and really negatively affecting my quality of life. It's just a whole bunch of things. And I just didn't like making videos anymore. But I still did because I know people expected them and wanted them from me. And I hated myself and I wouldn't want anyone else to hate me because I wasn't doing what I was expected to do. So I forced myself to make videos. So I'd just unenthusiastically play a shit game and just be miserable playing it because I didn't want to play it at the time. I didn't really want to play or do anything. And then I'd just make a quick video on it just saying what I know people expected me to say. Oh, nipples, titties, check, check. All right, post video. And for some reason, people still liked those videos even though I fucking hated them, put no work into them, was miserable making them. But people liked them. And even today, when people post a comment like, oh, I hate Critical's new videos, he's really lost his touch, he's so shit now compared to vintage good old Critical back in 2012, 2013, when you can just tell he loved it, well, no, fucking, you're completely wrong, it was quite the opposite, those videos were so forced and I hated them so much, man, I can't even put it into words, it was just a really shit time period. But starting in like, you know, mid-2014, you know, early-ish 2014, you know, it was my sophomore year of college, and I got with a really good group of people that became my best friends. G was one of them. I've talked about G in a bunch of stories before, and that really turned my life around. It was, you know, my real life started to get better because I was hanging around these really positive people and having a lot of fun. And then I started to find that passion again for creating things, playing shit games, and then branching out and making new things. And that's just continued to this day. Now I'm making a video a day because I just fucking love it. It's not because I'm relying on this as some type of job or something that I feel obligated to do. It's just because I fucking love it now. So yeah, it's just kind of like the history of like what I went through with the channel. I don't know. There's a lot more there, but 
I think it'd be more fun just to talk about some fun facts. This channel, I used to use it to promote unsigned rappers that I'd find on these really underground shady websites on like the fucking deep net. Like I'd go on tour and look for some weird ass rappers. And if I liked their music, I'd post their music onto this channel before Gears of War came out. And one of them was Soldier Boy. I'd actually heard some of his shit way before any of it ever had any airtime. He had some song about a fucking report card that I posted on here. And yeah, that's a that's a little fun fact. Soldier Boy, if you're watching this, you owe me at least 40% of whatever you've made over the last decade. Because I obviously contributed to that with you know my three subscribers back in 07. Another fun fact about this channel. The zero in the Penguin Z. The zero actually doesn't mean anything. I know. It's surprising, but yeah, it has no meaning. Another fun fact, why is it Penguin Z instead of an S? Well, that one's also an interesting story. It's because penguins with an S was taken, so yeah, I know that one's pretty fucking riveting too. A couple other fun facts about my history on YouTube. This isn't my first channel. I actually had a channel before this one, and it follows the same pattern as my Xbox Live gamer tags. It was fucking stupid. The name of that channel was Playa Footballa, uh, and then a couple numbers that I don't remember. And I used to just shit post videos on there. I'd take videos from other other websites and upload them on my channel. And then back when you could comment on bigger channels, I would just post, hey, if you guys like some videos, I posted some. Here's another fun fact for you. The first video I ever made on YouTube was of me myself. It was actually just my chest and I used to be fat, so it just looked like a pair of tits doing a magic trick. And the first comment I ever received was someone asking if I was a boy or a girl because all you could see was my fat tits doing a magic trick. Now, you know, that really didn't encourage me to keep pushing through and making videos, but for some reason I still did. Yeah, that's really about it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of this channel's history. I thought that'd be interesting for the 10 year anniversary of this channel. I know it's probably super underwhelming. I didn't get up and do like a twerking dance or something, but you know, I went out of my comfort zone just doing it in, in uh, uh, you know, that's fine. I'm just having a fucking stroke over here. Went out of my comfort zone doing an in real life video, so I just thought that'd be kind of an interesting way of celebrating it. Yeah, I mean, this is my setup. I don't have a webcam, I'm just, I actually taped my phone against the wall so it's leaning forward and I have it balancing on my laptop. As you can tell, I've never really prepared for an in real life video. It's really shitty, I might not post this. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's about it. See ya.